Notice the athletes playing basketball, the golfers taking their shots on a putting green, and the couple enjoying a peaceful walk in the park. Then suddenly a magnitude eight earthquake breaks loose and the ground shakes violently for 90 seconds. Out here in the open, how dangerous is it for you? Get this, in an open area like a park, there is no danger. That brings up a significant point. Earthquakes don't kill, buildings do. Yes, it is our own human built structures that fall apart and kill us. The question is, what can you do now to prevent losses before the next big earthquake sends powerful seismic waves chasing after you? We're here at a residential construction site because this is where America lives, in houses. And if you live in an earthquake prone area like Los Angeles, you want to make sure that the builder is providing earthquake safety for your family. Well, how can you tell? Interior walls not only provide the separate spaces for us to live in, they also add sheer strength to a house, the ability to stand up to earthquakes. Walls connect roof to floor, they connect exterior wall to exterior wall, they add strength to a house. What can you do to make older houses stronger? This model is a basic demonstration of a house with strong walls and strong roof that creates a protective shell for living and working. But how will this protective shell react when shaken by seismic waves? For instance, a Rayleigh wave. As Rayleigh waves travel in backward rotating circles, they cause the ground to accelerate through a vertical lift, a horizontal push, a vertical drop, and a horizontal push in the opposite direction. This simple building can easily handle the vertical lift and drop, but how well will it stand up to horizontal accelerations? Can it take a sideways push? Seems our house just collapsed. How can we make this building stronger? First, we can add cross bracing. We add cross braces to tie the wall and roof more strongly together. Then we'll securely bolt the cross braces to the walls and to the roof. Now, our building has the shear strength necessary to handle the accelerations brought by seismic waves. A closer look at the construction reveals that the wood frame walls are nailed, bracketed, and bolted together, vertically, diagonally, and horizontally to increase structural strength. Further, the walls are bolted to the foundation, are strapped to each other, and are fastened to the roof. The wood frame is covered by plywood that fits together to form continuous walls that add more shear strength. The plan is to provide support to the house in the event a quake causes it to move in all directions. Do this to your house. Brace it, nail it, bolt it, bracket it, strap it. This house has a concrete supporting wall and a wooden cripple wall between the concrete wall and the house itself. This presents possibilities for structural failure. The cripple wall can collapse and the house can fall off the concrete wall. How can this failure be prevented? By increasing interior support. Cripple walls should be bolted to the foundation and plywood panels can be added to reinforce the cripple wall. While many older wood frame houses may ride out an earthquake, their brick chimneys are danger points. Because of the rigid brick and mortar construction, these chimneys have little flexibility to roll with the seismic waves. Danger also lurks inside your home. Four of the deaths and many injuries in the Northridge earthquake occurred inside homes as personal furnishings fell. Many billions of dollars of damages occurred inside houses. Let's go inside. Unsecured gas flame water heaters, shelves with heavy pots, books, stereo speakers, chandeliers hanging over dining tables, ceiling fans hanging over beds, unsecured large screen TV sets. Look inside your house and locate dangerous items. Then move them or securely fasten them and do it now. Your actions will make a difference. Reduce your losses by acting now. A big earthquake could happen here on any given day.